<laughs> Bailey's puppies are two weeks down. Oh, starting to open their little eyes. <laughs> Hello, you. Hello. Let's have a look at this one over here. Tickle your tummy. Oh, tickle your tummy. Hello. Big stretch. What about you? Hello. Wake up. Hello. So good, is it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Got your eyes open too. Or opening. Are you going for a little walk, are you? Hmm? Are you going for a little walk? Oh, big <laughs> yawn. Where's this one? Trying to get to a teat. Good girl, Bailey. Good girl. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Something a little bit different today. I have a new mould that I wanted to try. Has anyone seen this one? It's uh, it's a little doggy. Um, <clears throat> is it a Sharpe maybe? Something like that. The one with all the um, wrinkly, crinkly skin. I think it's that one from what I can see on the outside. And it's pretty textured on the inside. There's this little tail. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to I'm going to do that today. Um, and I'm not using chameleon powders, but I am going to use a couple of shades of um, like tan, beigey, brownish kind of colours today. Um, and uh, yeah, just see see how this mould goes. It's very soft and squidgy. Um, little eyes um, here and here. I thought they may be, they may look quite nice with the little glass eye. So I'm going to just pop that in like so. Um, and then, yeah, see see what that looks like. Whether it looks nice, I, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. And because it's kind of got floppy eyelids, after it's unmolded, I may colour in a little bit of the top eye just so that it, it looks as if it's sort of, you know, half closed by an eyelid. So anyway, that's what that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing I need to do is grab my UV resin. I've got my UV lamp and uh, we'll put these eyes in, hey? So same way as I have been doing it for all my other eyes. Now this one's pretty easy to turn inside out. So I'm just going to pop a little bit in there. Just a tiny little bit. I don't have to worry about which is the right way up because they're round. So, um, this one's got a tiny bit of paper sticking out. I'm just going to pop it that way. Just push it in. Now, I am going to just hold it in place there. I'm not going to flip it inside out just yet. I'm just going to hold it in place while I pop that over there. Is it still under? <laughs> Making sure that it's still, um, it's still in the right place. All right, I'm going to give that... Um, Oh, 30 seconds, I guess. And then I will do the next one and give it 30 seconds and then I can flip them over because the um, the UV lamp's not going to go through the glass. But there should be a tiny little bit of uh, resin that's kind of gone around the eye and I'm hoping just to cure that bit. Okay, so that was 30 seconds. Okay, that seems to be in there. Actually, I better do... I might... Better do the other side. Better do the other side. I don't even know if this is going to go through because it's quite a, a thick. Oh, oh gosh, no, it's fallen out. Obviously, it wasn't enough time. Oh gosh. All right, I'll just peel that off. <laughs> oh, peel that bit of resin off. It hasn't stuck on there very well. It's always the problem with you know, the glass eyes. I need something sharp. A bit difficult to do when you've got nails. Not that they're long, but they're nails nonetheless. I just lifted up a corner with my little blade. All right. <clears throat> well, I guess it's going to be a little bit trickier than I anticipated. But um, anyway, I'll try again. I won't bore you with 
me doing it in front of you but I'm just going to do the same as I did before little eye a little drop there for the eye and I'll go around in that little eye space with that UV resin and then just pop that in again all right let's try that again I'll give it a bit longer this time I'll come back to you when it's done right well that was a little bit trickier than I expected this really soft slippery silicone did not want to hold the eyes I did it three times so anyway they're in there if I touch them they will just fall off so I'm going to dust really carefully around them and then when I pour the resin in hopefully that will hold them um, unless they unless the resin makes them fall off so I think I'll have to fill it with really pale resin <laughs> I was going to do white but then they might fall off into the resin and I won't know so anyway without further ado so these little eyes um they're not very big they are about eight eight millimeters that. little eyes dragon eyes cat eyes just from amazon glass eyes so my two colors that i've chosen are espresso martini from pixie dust pigments and Sahara from a resin pro so just basically a, a, a light brown and a dark brown all right so let's get dusting oh this is a bit tricky isn't it I haven't worked with a bottle that's got such a small neck oh my gosh all right let's just do this now because it's you know it's a dog and it's natural natural colors um, I'm just going to kind of put colors wherever um, I will do the little pause in the slightly darker one though, just so that all the pores are the same. I think that was a bit much in that one. <laughs> I'll have to take it over to the bin and uh, blow the excess out. So just making sure I get up the sides as well. I was just going to do like a white mica. <laughs> Give that a bit of a blow. <laughs> I was going to do a white mica, but um, like I said, I might not be able to see if the eyes fall out. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know. It might not be a good idea to use the eyes on this very, very soft, slippery silicone. All right, so I'll do the... Four little pores in the brown and then I'm just going to kind of do like a, like a patchwork type thing actually maybe I won't maybe I'll just do it all in the, the lighter one and just leave the pores and the tail maybe I won't even do the tail in that I'm just trying to work out what would look nicer I think I might just do that I might just leave uh, maybe just a little bit on his little nose, a bit dark on his little snoz, if I can find his little nose. Oh gosh, where's your little nose? Oh, there's the nose there. Um, oh look, I'll do brown on it for now, but I think I'll colour it in with black later. So I'm just going to do this little front area of his face in the dark. Try not to touch the the eyes. Just this little front bit here in the dark. Not that it's really dark, but it's darker. And then, uh, yeah, once I've unmolded, I'll just colour in the nose and those little nostrils with some with a black marker. I think that'll be fine. All right, so that's the dark done. Just wipe my little brush there now. I can get in there and do this one <laughs> all right so this will be easier too all over just with this one color I think that'll look nicer sometimes less is more isn't it I'm a bit worried about going anywhere near those little eyes now gosh I'll do this side and then I'll 
turn it over and turn it around so I can see the other side. So it's quite detailed. It might help if I put that on the same side that I'm dipping into, hey, rather than reaching across. It's quite detailed with all its little fur. Now I need to get into that little tail there. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to top this with black as I would with a chameleon powder. Um, it'll either just be a very, very pale white um, or, or some clear, but I'm thinking maybe the, the white would look better. As long as the eyes don't fall out, then I can't see where they've gone. It'd be terrible if he had eyes down in his nose. What's this? This must be this must be an ear. I just have to be really careful getting into that around those eyes. Gosh, if they fell out, if they fall out, then so be it. I'll just I'll just draw the eyeballs on later. But I'll try and be careful and keep them. I just gotta be really careful not to move, like pull the silicone, because as soon as I pull it, those eyes will just pop out. Around we go. I'll put a lot of this on and get it to sort of, I'll just dot it on rather than try and brush it on. Try and dot it. Around there. Oh, I touched the eye, I touched the eye. And then I will take it over to the bin and just blow the residual out. this under here gosh what is that must be another is that an ear under there I don't even know must be something under there same around this one just gonna dot nearly done you guys nearly done and um, I'm going to mix up my resin. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're done. Okay, that's it. That's all I can do. Now I just have to choose a colour to backfill with. White or clear or maybe just slightly white. Anyway, I'm going to go and blow the excess dust off this. Wish me luck. that <laughs> Don't blow the eyeballs right out. Oh, what a mess. All right, so this one's by Resin Pro. Pretty colour. All right, I'll mix up my resin. I'll see you in a sec. I am using the Let's Resin Deep Pour resin here. Because it's quite deep. I guess it's about two inches in the deepest part in the right down there maybe just under about five centimeters so I'm using that it's like it's well it's like water so what I thought I might do is just put one drop of my bloom pigment paste in there and that's my timer going off to say that I've been stirring for four minutes thank you timer I add another one we'll just see what this looks like so I just want it to be just a hint of white just a hint of white stir that really well now the other thing I want to do is because this um, deep pour resin takes so long to cure if it was just sitting here on the bench I wouldn't be able to unmold it for about two days um, because it would still be too soft especially in these little pore areas where it's quite shallow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it Put the mold into my little cake tin here which has got some plastic just in the on the lining there just in case I drip anything and then I can pick this up and move it away if I need to come and do another video here or if I want to pick it up and move it into my curing machine how's that looking I think that's that's good that's just one drop it's strong stuff that bloom all right I think we're stirred up nice and well there. Really, really low bubble, this, this resin. 
because it's so thin. The thicker the resin, you know, the easier that it holds its bubbles, but this one has not got any. All right. Um, actually, I might just pour that onto the stick ah, just so that it's not dropping onto my colour too much. Let's keep an eye on those eyes, shall we? I made up Obviously, I don't know how much this little doggy way, uh, weighs, holds. Oh, I still can't see the eyes if they fall off. Oh, never mind, even though it's really milky white. Um, I did 150 grams of part A and I did 65 grams of part B. So I've got 215 grams, less than a cup. Because I wasn't sure exactly how much to make. I'm going to have lots left over. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm going to have lots left over. I'll mix something in it and make some puffy hearts. Oh, it's not exactly, um, it's because it's such a soft silicone. It's, I'm going to have to put something there like that because now this part is almost ready to overflow and I haven't even done the feet yet because it's such a soft silicone. That's not good, is it? Not good at all. Um, what can I use? What can I use? Let's try. Let's try some bottles of resin. Is that going to work? Just have to push these sides in. See, like that. And that one's only half full, <clears throat> so I'll use this fuller one. You don't realise that when you buy some moulds and they're so soft that you're going to have maybe have issues with them. Because, look, the feet aren't even full yet. I might have to actually put something under this. Oh, I hate that. I hate it when you, a mould doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. It's just frustrating, isn't it? Isn't it? All right, that's that. Now, <clears throat> I'll get a pop stick, pop it under here, under my little tray. Might even need two because, like I said, the feet haven't even been filled yet. Which means I'm not really going to be able to move this at all, which is a real pain. Because everything's, you know, holding together and <laughs> pop stick under there. Now the back knees need to be brought in a bit too. Oh gosh. <gasps> How frustrating. Well, I don't know that I'd recommend this mould to you then, guys, <laughs> because it's just a bit of a, it's a bit painful to use. I have to push that in there and then push that in there to get these back legs. I'm just trying to get it so that it fills evenly, if you can understand what I'm, what I mean. Yeah, it's going to go over. It's going to go over on the front feet. All right, I might leave it like that. I've still got heaps of resin left. I probably only need like half a cup, if that. All right, I'm going to mix up some, um, some I don't know, something. I'll put something in that and uh, make a whole heap of puffy hearts. All right, let's have a look from this way. See, it's kind of even now, but those back feet still aren't quite as full as the top section, I don't think. I'll just give it a light spray with some alcohol just to get those top bubbles there. But basically that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to have to leave it there. All right, wish me luck. I'll see you for the unmoulding in two days. Oh my God, it better be worth it. Okay. I think it's ready, <laughs> finally. So we're um, we're two days later. I just let it cure on its own. 
took its time so here we go it should come out really easily because it's really soft silicone so I guess it has its plus side when it's time to unmold that it's really soft but then when you're actually pouring the resin that's a negative because it's so soft it doesn't want to stay in shape oh look at the little tail just came out all right so there you go comes out really easily I'll just have to wipe down the tops here with my baby wipes and it's all done <clears throat> right are we ready to have a look and see what we've got here we go oh look at it oh oh my gosh one eye oh my gosh one eye oh there's the other one. Oh, look I was having I had a feeling that was gonna happen <laughs> we have a one-eyed dog oh god I can't even get it out. It's in there. I can sort of see a shadow of it. That's what I was worried about. But anyway. It's actually going to stop my dogs barking. <laughs> it seems every single time I start the video, my husband goes outside because he's thinking, oh, what can I do now? Julie's busy. I'll go outside. And then, of course, the dogs see and get all excited and go barking. But anyway, there it is. I got one good eye, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> we'll just look at it from this side, okay? <laughs> it was just a little experiment. I'm not going to be too fussed about painting that one. I'll just I'll just take a photo from this side. <laughs> um, I guess I could draw, I could colour it or something, and but um, yeah. So very um, slight change in the in the colour there from the the dark to the light. Um, Let's see if I can colour this little nose in, which is what I wanted to do. Colour the little little nose. And just with the marker. It's a bit too fiddly to um I think to to draw in before you pour the resin in. I need to get in there with a smaller marker and do the nostrils. I can't get in there with this big marker. I'll have to get my smaller one out. Yeah, that one's a bit big. What else have I got? What else have I got? This one. This one's a bit smaller. Let's see if I can get in there with this one. You could just use a little bit of... Um, paint as well if you've got some paint that you'd normally use for maybe domino markings like for the dots <clears throat> and it's in your little needle nose bottle you could just pop a little bit of that in there for that little no nose as well for the little nostrils that would work as well okay I think that's that's pretty good don't know that I can get in there anymore so that's pretty cute. I need to put a little bit more in. There, that's better. All right, that's pretty cute. I will see if I can um, do that other eye. Oh, look, you can just paint little black nails on as well. Huh? There we go. All right. So anyway, I'm just going to take a photo from that side <laughs> because I... Couldn't be bothered doing the other side. Just a little experiment. But um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how I would. 50% um, success rate on that. It's a real shame because it's a lovely little eye on that side. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've learnt something, what to do, what not to do. If you've got a better idea of how to stick those little eyes in. Um, it certainly was easier in my other moulds. This one's just so soft and squidgy that um any little movement that is going pop pop straight out so yeah something to look something to know i guess about those ultra ultra soft molds so there you go there's my little doggy hope you've enjoyed my video <laughs> and uh, i'll see you all again real soon for the next one okay take care guys bye for now